Well, we've been having conversations with Hampton on and off for a few years, and so we've been very familiar with them and, and always very impressed with them. And what they bring to the table from an academic reputation, number one, is just outstanding. Uh, great fit for the Big South Conference. Athletically, they're committed to success in Division I. They've had outstanding success in a number of their sports, uh, you know, regionally and nationally. Uh, so they'll come in and compete for championships right away. Their leadership uh, is just uh, so strong. You know, Dr. Bill Harvey, um, what he's done here at Hampton, for 40 years has been uh, nothing short of just miraculous and, and such a strong leader. Gene Marshall, the athletics director, is, is a real pro and, and so we're really looking forward to working with their leadership here as well. What a great day to be in Hampton, Virginia. What a great day to be at Hampton University. Uh, it's a day we've been looking forward to for quite a while. On behalf of Mary Grant, who's the Chancellor of University of North Carolina, Asheville, and is the president of the Big South Conference and the entire Council of Chief Executive Officers of the Big South. I would like to officially welcome Hampton University to the Big South Conference. It's a great opportunity for the university to expand its footprint and then uh, enhance its competitive nature with some of the Big South schools. We do play a lot of them anyway, but now it formalizes that relationship and it allows us to compete at a high level and also uh, preserve missed class time and allow our student athletes to stay closer to the campus. We don't have to travel that far like we used to, uh, but we still, it's very competitive. The schools we've been playing for years, you know, we played Radford, we played Longwood, you know, we played Liberty, um, we played Winthrop. And now we can formalize those relationships and add to it Gardner Webb and, and, and Campbell. We've played upstate a lot. So I think it's just a, uh, an ability for us to formalize the existing relationships that we've had in non conference and turn them into conference. I play the best of the best, and uh, you know, they're great programs in, in the Big South, the Liberties. The Rappers, the High Points, to name a few, uh, and the, you know, all of Asheville's, the, they're all great programs. So it's an opportunity and a, and a different challenge for us. Hopefully we'll be able to come in and we'll be able to come in and compete immediately. Uh, we have played several Big South schools over the last few years. Very competitive conference, very good basketball, very good basketball tradition from the athletes and the coaches as well. Uh, but, you know, we think the change is good and we think as a, as a university we'll benefit and as a program we'll benefit. Probably won't be able to join next year. We're, we're going to wait and see. But if we can, it'd be great. If not, in 2019, um, we, we're ecstatic and elated to uh, be joining the Big South. We played Mammoth this year here and uh, played them winning overtime and they beat us in overtime. So we know we can be competitive in that league and, and they know we can be competitive. So we're looking forward to it. Well, now we're at 12. So uh, we haven't had serious conversations about growing beyond that. I mean, that that's when you start to really wonder if, if there's diminishing returns, perhaps. Uh, but um, it's, it's such smart growth for us uh, with USC Upstate and now Hampton coming in uh, that it's, um, it's just a really a, a, an appropriate size, an appropriate uh, strategy for us. And so we feel like uh, we're positioned well for the future.